Well, good late evening, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 30th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video for Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We're going to start out looking at our sun. You can see a lot of activity incoming on the left side there. And something happened over the past 24 hours on our sun, and we had a dramatic increase in solar wind speeds normally they're hovering around 200 to 300 kilometers per second they were jacked up to almost 650 kilometers per second and that is still hitting us right now so something happened on in the coronal hole wind stream yesterday but you can definitely see some activity coming in here large ropes as we were looking at yesterday that is the old one lonely sunspot that has been going around our sun for about a month beautiful images coming out of solar dynamics observatory of our sun and with increased solar wind speeds we definitely get the increased energy on earth increased electricity in increased winds we're all affected by it something to talk about here though we just had a pretty strange earthquake in australia a 5.4 in the middle of the continent it's a very rare earthquake 5.4 earthquake in Australia. We're going to go to USGS and find out exactly where it is. Just want to show you here the last 24 hours for the earthquakes because I haven't gotten to that today. So it has been semi busy. Minor earthquakes, Cascadia, a little bit of activity in Hawaii. But yesterday and overnight last night, we did have activity in the Atlantic Ocean, which I want to point out. We had 5.4 and a 5.0 earthquake in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. As well, another 4.5 up in the Rick James Ridge. Not to be confused with the Rick James Ridge. It's the Rick James. But anywho... 5.4 earthquake in Australia. Very strange. You don't see earthquakes on the continent like that, especially in the middle of the continent. I just don't get it. So here it is. 5.5 earthquake. Tennant Creek, Australia. And this is actually a semi, uh, for topography, it is a semi-mountainous region. And we're having major tectonic movement across the planet right now. As well as some increased space weather when we have a broken down magnetosphere. So let's check, check out the animal spiral here. Showing this incoming space weather. Wind velocity up to 650 kilometers per second. Now, another thing we want to talk about here today is the tornado outbreak, of course, in the, in the United States. And they're recording here 700, over 700 tornadoes already. 712 recording 38 fatalities, 75 worldwide fatalities. But these are some crazy times. Since May 17th, 225 tornadoes have been confirmed in this outbreak sequence. Two hundred and twenty-five tornadoes. Look at these increased numbers. Now we're we're seeing these increased events across the planet. And thank you to Dan sending in these photos taken by 
his girlfriend and friend, Ashley and Jessica. And these are some crazy photos coming out. And there's vo photos, videos all across the internet right now, social media. This was a devastating outbreak. It has caused billions of dollars in damage. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who's, who was affected and still being affected by this tornado outbreak in the United States. But I've been warning of it. And I really... I Go months back and you'll see some of my videos. I said 2019, 2020, it's going to be crazy when it comes to extreme weather events. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. So, reoccurring pattern across the United States, unfortunately, starting to dry up, really dry up here in Alberta, and heat up. It's going to be 27 degrees today, so watch for some thunderstorms to develop later in the evening as that low is trying to come down from the north. Still a lot of cold temperatures coming from the north, hence the extreme weather. Now we're also watching this tropical development over Mexico, heading into the Gulf of Mexico. It looks like it may go northwest instead into the Pacific, which is hopeful. Because if that thing goes into the Gulf of Mexico, there will be a devastating hurricane. And it'll create fast like Michael did last season. Now across Europe, uh, starting to warm up a little bit, but still the cold temperatures are persisting. Parts of the United Kingdom. And of course we've got flooding conditions in China, which I warned about a few days ago. But as you look at these maps around the world, the increased moisture is happening. Mass evaporation. Dramatic increase in size and velocity of low pressures, high pressures across the world. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.